closer to you than just found a way to keep on getting about it. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really thinking about it. Coach just challenged me, and I just want to step up and make plays. Uh, Andy said that in the huddle a little bit before that, that there was, you know, he challenged the guys, and you were really the only guy that said, I want the ball, I want to do this. Was that a little weird, or, or how did that conversation go? No, I mean, it was exactly how he said it. I mean, he was looking for somebody to step up and make some plays, and I told him I wanted the ball, and he gave it to me. What do you think was going on for you guys in the first half? Uh, just, I feel like maybe just a lack of focus. I mean, we wasn't playing defense like we usually do. wasn't knocking down the normal shots we do. So, I mean, it, that's why they were up, and it was pretty tough. You guys got up a couple of times in the second half and weren't really able to pull away. I guess, how, how good was Mississippi State playing and kind of fighting against you guys? Yeah, well, I mean, they're at home. So every time you play a rival team, they're at home. Of course, they're going to come in and be up for the game, knock down more shots, but we just, we just had to try to do it. OS hasn't traditionally had a lot of success here. But, you know, you, you, you haven't been through that before, newcomer. I mean, did, did you care about that? Did you guys talk about that during the week? I mean, how did you approach that? Well, I mean, I'm new here, so to me it doesn't really mean much of anything. I just want to win. You know what I'm saying? How important is this win, Stefan, in, in realms of, obviously, you, uh, NCAA tournament hopes? Oh, it's very important. I mean, we need them all. We're we going to take every one we can get. You kind of have a, a knack. 5-9 for still finding a way to separate and get some space on those three-pointers. Are you just jumping over people, or is there like a move you do? I mean, what is I mean, I'm just going to jump as high as I can. If you're going to block, you're going to have to jump with me. Steph and Andy talks about uh, Tennessee running a different kind of offense and, and needing a big practice day tomorrow. Is that common on a quick turn to have to focus and really concentrate on the workout the day after? Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're an older and mature team, so that's nothing, that shouldn't be a problem to some weekend. Anything else, Brad? What's kind of your comfort level with Terrence right now? Before? Terrence? Yeah. No, I'm real comfortable with Terrence. First of all, he's my roommate. You know what I'm saying? I'm real comfortable with Terrence. I mean, we probably just had a few little mislaps um, throughout the game, but um, yeah, we're, we're comfortable. So. Have you ever been in a, in a zone like you were there in the second half? I mean, 29 points, three straight threes at one point. <coughs> kind of, you know, have you ever been in a kind of zone like that? Yeah, I've, I've been in a zone like that numerous, a few times this year. But, um, I don't really. Sometimes my mind just goes blank, and I just have a knack just to try to make plays. Thanks, Bertie.